Feng Hua Jiang joins me now from New York. She founded the Children's Cooperation Center in 2008. It tries to bridge the gap between the test-taking culture and a more rounded education by offering students programs like drama and public speaking. So how has Children's Day evolved since it began many decades ago? Elaine, thank you for having me. Um, the Children's Day, it's very interesting you invite me today because it always evokes a very warm feeling. We, uh, on the day, usually we take day off and the children will have special gifts from their parents and from some relatives. And I assume I haven't been in Shanghai or in China for the last uh, 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 close to five years. But uh, just from observing, you know, social media like WeChat, I believe the Chinese uh, uh, kids still enjoy as much the fun as we used to be, let's say, 40 or 50 years ago. So it is a great day for the kids. Well, the focus of this special day is children's happiness, as you mentioned, and well-being. How would you describe kids today in China? Do you think they're happier and healthier? Um, I think uh, the overall, uh, you know, based on many international research, children all over the world are getting healthier and are getting uh, happier. However, if you look at a restricted area, let's say in China, or specific uh, you know, cities or rural areas, you still hear kids will complain about their day-to-day -day life. Especially we have been observing kids, you know, as soon as Let's say when they are three years old, they're generally much happier than when they are 13 years old after they got into school. Because uh, the pressure for nowadays children are significantly higher than, let's say, when we grew up. So I think uh, from a parent's perspective or from government perspective, there are a lot of work we needed to do to, you know, kind of lighten up a little bit the stress the children feel. And I think by that time, children will be truly happy and they enjoy the time to be a child. Do you think there's more stress today involving uh, school? You mentioned test taking, the pressure to do well all the way till you get to college. We know that the Gao Cao in China is coming up. Is there just too much pressure? And Yes, the pressure is definitely there, but uh, whether it's too much or too little, really up to each family. One thing, Elaine, you can observe that uh, for Chinese parents, children are everything for them. And uh, usually, you know, in Western world, we know a child is the happiest when their parents spend time with them. But uh, why in China, when the, Parents give so much attention to the children, still there are children say they're not happy. That is because when the time spent together, the children didn't really experience the fun experience or the fun things that they want. They expect, uh, they experience a lot of expectations from the parents. So I do believe, you know, high expectation that's, it's actually beyond the test only. It's everything, you know, your manner, your test score, and uh, how you look, and uh, what do you wear. A lot of the expectation, all those expectations mount uh, to be stress. So that's where I think uh, we parents and uh, uh, to a certain extent uh, government or school can do something to help. And I know my daughter always asks me to get off my phone, so there's that. Fang Hua Jiang, thank you for your uh, insight.